Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is a message for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising in Libra. If you're a cross watcher, thank you for clicking on my channel. If you are not a subscriber, please hit that button now and let's see what is coming on. The Fool, Libra, let's see what is going on. What new beginning are you going towards? What are you leaving behind? These cards have been coming out quite a bit lately with the Queen of air and the queen of earth so i do see that you are receiving quite a bit of messages right now from both as above so below so this is all about you're being guided with clarity and truth and this is perfect but because right now in gemini during this gemini uh season this is all about truth and clarity right so this is what is coming to you at this time, as you're seeing with the feather, I love this card because these air cards in this deck is all about your alignment with um, your angels, guides, ancestors, and extraterrestrials, and so on in your higher self. So you really need to trust the path that they're trying to show you, as well as Mother Gaia, and really knowing that you're safe and secure, your root chakra, the queen of earth she has everything she needs in complete alignment as above so below and this is this is exactly that you are ready to embark on a whole new journey libra and i love that because just like you there's a balance here right the scales as above so below heaven and earth here so you've got you've got heaven and earth you're here to create and to experience on your journey, heaven and earth. That is so beautiful. So let's see. Let's get three more cards. Let's see. Let's get a few more cards here for Libra. Libra. Let's see what messages are coming for Libra. Spirit, what are the messages here for Libra? Ace of air. Wow. This is absolutely, you are so protected. Something so magical in alignment. It's like, the, the beautiful Pegasus here is just, this is such a time of magic for you right now, Libra. This is a magical new journey that is coming your way. This is something that definitely wants to birth through you. So let's see, let's see what else we've got coming out. We have the three of water. So this would be the three of cups. Absolutely. This is coming together with other like-minded people and also collaborating with other people, celebrating. There's a celebration here with others and the world. Wow. Uh, you could be wanting to travel. Um, also at this time, I have the world and at the bottom of the deck, we have the moon, the chariot, and messenger of air you have a lot of air signs in your chart uh in your reading right now which is um aquarius gemini and libra so you've got your own energy is showing up you are showing up quite a bit here when it's coming to the messenger of of air so this is all about your experiences and what you're thinking right and this is you broadening your perspective with the messenger. I love this because to me, like I said, in the good tarot deck, to me, all these earth car cards are all about your highest good and your highest alignment and really listening to the voice of spirit and about um, really noticing and hearing spirit when I'm looking at the moon, so something that could be something that illuminates or lifts the illusion, clears away for the lunar eclipse that is coming on June 5th. And then you've got the new moon here that is coming on the 21st, the full being, I believe, in the sign of Sagittarius, 18 coming to a nine. So something coming to its full completion for you to recognize nines is about your wishes, right? What are you wishing to complete um, what uh, did not show itself to you about illumination, clarity, movement forward, and really seeing the messenger here as an initial spark, a spark and a beginning, a beginning of change of what your intentions are. What are you intending to do? What is it that you want to build? Creativity, opportunities that are coming to you. So I believe you're getting this 
This is telling me that in June, you are making this focused decision here, and there could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio also in the mix here, that you are moving towards, and this is moving towards with complete clarity, with focus, intent. Seven is on your spiritual path. So there's something here that is showing you during the month of June, your purpose, your path, and being in alignment with all sides of yourself, the dark, the light, and being guided with both the light and the dark aspects of you in moving forward with what it is that you're here to create with Fool with the new beginning here and also with the King of Air, which I'm seeing. So this is all about um, being childlike and going on this magical new journey for yourself. This is something so new and you're leaving. It's like there's nothing else here, so you're not taking anything. It's almost you're blowing the horn of goodbye to the past and hello with what is ahead. And there, you're starting out with Zero the Fool, and this is a complete new 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 um story here for you because it ends with the world again what i'm seeing here for you is absolutely incredible because this is all about destiny and fate the law of karma the forces the transformation synchronicity this is all of it this is everything that you need in order to bring it to a full completion with a shift in perspective in how you have seen your world up until now and now how you are seeing the world as you're co-creating and moving forward with the things that have lifted and oh my god like everything with this is just so beautiful there is just so much to celebrate and so much to receive in the movement as a fool moving into alignment with channeling and uh maybe you are a channeler and you are bringing aspects of yourself here on this planet as an earth angel as somebody also who's connected as a star seed possibly to the divine and here you're coming down and you have something to share with the world and something to celebrate and you are just getting all the yes, 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 yes cards. Let's go ahead. It's almost like I don't even want to um, clarify any of these cards because it's so perfect. But let's see what the messenger of earth here. Let's see what the messenger wants to share with us. And that is, oh my God, it is all about your wishes. A Corian card here about what you want to bring in here. Um, this is all about stars, wishes. But here's the deal, you with the high priestess. You again, there could be a Pisces, um, but the moon, I also see the moon as Cancer, so you could be dealing with a Cancer or Pisces, and you've got some major, major arcana going on here. So, this is also talking to me about really recognizing that you hold everything that you need. Again, this is in complete alignment with your spirit. with with the wisdom of the owl you're being guided so listen to the messages because you're holding the key that is unlocking the story that's within you for your next movement forward maybe you're wanting to and again libra you are the sign of balance so you have the harmony the balance of the chariot of the horses and here as well again you've got the the black and the white and um the cons here. So you're holding something up. It's like there's things, the law of karma. There are things that are just coming in harmony for you. And this is all about the messenger of earth is telling you, maybe you work in some healing. Like I said, maybe you're a channeler. Maybe you're an intuitive reader like myself and like other people. Maybe you have some kind of practice. Maybe it is that you want to write a book. Whatever it is, you are getting the messages and the signs to move forward and to take a chance like you're like a fool with yourself and to stop hiding behind the shadows and to really come out and bring the magical you out into the universe because the world needs to hear from you, Libra. And that is what I'm really getting. The world needs to hear from Libra. Libra, come out, come out. But here with the card in reverse, it's like the Ace of Wands. It, it's all about in its upright position. It's a beginning of action, of, of movement forward, of creativity. And there's something here 
that you are not seeing within yourself. It's almost like you're not ready to move forward. Are you not ready to take a step in forward? Um, maybe you're not believing in yourself or your ideas. And I'm here to tell you to believe in your ideas and to believe in yourself because this is such a magical time for you. And I would really take the month of June to move um, to come out. And again, we have the fool showing up again. So we have, yes, it's time you're really being guided to move forward as an earth angel, as above, so below. I do feel you have something here to move forward with, but I don't think that you believe in yourself yet with the sun. It's like, again, it's the happiest card in the deck, but it's in the reverse position. There's something within you that is holding you back from allowing yourself to shine. And really, you want to look into that. What is holding you back into you giving birth to something new for you to shine? And you're getting all the cards here to collaborate and to move forward. But there, what is holding you back? There's something that's holding you back. And it could be Leo. And as I said that, the card of strength, the Leo card came out because the sun is also Leo. So can there be a Leo in your life that is holding you back? Could that be it? Could that be a sun sign, that a fire sign that is in the way? Or is the fire sign encouraging you to move forward? But the way I was seeing it at first was that there could be somebody who is holding you back. And if it's not somebody, then you are giving yourself time and saying, you know what, I will come out, but not yet in um, Leo season, like end of July into August. That's when I will bring it out. It's almost like I'm not ready. You're not ready yet. But it's asking you for courage and the strength to move forward and to take advantage of this time and really to move forward. Yes, this is go with the flow. You're receiving the messages. The time is now. Don't spend another minute. Really go within and connect with your guides. They are speaking to you right now with you moving forward. Let's give you oops, one last card here. And yeah, that is being stuck, not able to make a decision. But with the two of swords here and at the bottom, I've got two of pentacles in its reversal. This is like not knowing which direction to go. But this is, you know, it's stop juggling whether it's you moving forward or not moving forward, making a decision or not making a decision. Do I stay? Do I go? Do I leave? Do I not? Do I write? Do I do this? Yes, no, yes, no. The answers are not out here. The answer is within you. That's why she has a blindfold. The blindfold is there to show her. And, you know, here within the new moon, which again is going to be June 21st, I believe, you are to, you know, what put that fold over your eyes and realize that every answer that you are seeking is with you. Your answer is not on the outside. The high priestess knows and she holds the book and the key is within her. Here, the full moon is possibly eclipsing because we have a lunar eclipse. So it's eclipsing some things within you, like your intuition. But as you're coming into the new moon, I believe in that time from June 5th till the 21st, more will be revealed to you where you will see that everything that you are seeking is right here. And yes, oh my God, I love this. And again, I do feel that there is um, a fire sign, could be a Leo um, that is um, either helping you or guiding you moving towards uh, turning the wheel here. So there's something here or maybe there is somebody who wants to collaborate with you, move, move forward with you and you were hesitant in moving forward or taking a leap of faith with this certain individual. But here with the Wheel of Fortune, this is all about action. This is <laughs> all about moving forward, right? And passion, action, uh, just so much, oh my God, creativity. And this is in regards to your life. Everything that you have known is about to shift. So if life was um, dull, unfair, and things were not going your way, it is turning around. It is the wheel of fortune. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull from the animal spirit. And also at the bottom of the deck, we have the 10. So this is all about abundance, material gain. And this is all about your ships coming in as well. Again, I feel like there's a fire sign or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, 
in your reading quite a bit here from Leo to Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And it doesn't have to be, but this is really the signs that are jumping out. Um, but uh, yeah, and then we do have, well, just about everything. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. So let's pull a uh, Colette Baron Reed Animal Spirit. And let's see what is coming up here. And this is Reclaim Your Power. Yes, you see clearly now. Woo! -hoo! This is awesome because that's what all this is about, right? The king of air, truth, clarity, seeing the truth in your life, in your situation. The wisdom, seven, is all, look at that, from 43 to 44. And I love the uh, panther spirit. Reclaiming your power is exactly that. That's this. Turn it around. Turn it upside down. Reclaim what's yours. Become that creative co-creator that you are and really move forward with passion like a panther you know a panther is like it just it just comes out it says don't come looking for me i will find you and that is like the energy that i'm getting here it's seeing what's not being said hearing what you can't hear but the owl can the owl is so wise and so connected with the spirit realm here and this is yes you see clearly now and i really believe that what has been hidden for you now becomes very clear for you to move forward because you are receiving all these messages from spirit and from your own higher self you just get to quiet that mind and go within one card from the oracle of the mermaid and this one wants to come out and who are we to say okay mirror so know thyself self-examination seeing who you really are so this does talk about the people that are um in your environment and also looking at yourself i believe that maybe you're seeing yourself if you're seeing yourself as not worthy or less than this is look in the mirror again and really write a new story for yourself and and the people that you admire or the people that you look up to or your people that you go i wish i was a little bit more like him or a little bit more like her they're all your mirror and if you're judging anybody they're also your mirror so really realize what it is you're giving attention to, who you're giving attention to. Are you in judgment? Or are you in awe? Or are you wishing and wanting that you were somebody other than yourself? Because whatever you are seeing, it is a reflection of you looking back at you. This is so beautiful. See yourself as prosperous and prosperity will look back at you. See yourself as creative and creativity will look back at you. See yourself as whole and wholeness is who you are. And this is what I'm getting with this message. One final message here. And this one is with um spirit angel angel messages and let's just close you out libra and if you have not subscribed hit that button now and i will see you guys again shortly thank you for staying on for as long as you have and we're just gonna pick let me go with this card actually this is the one i'm choosing let's put that back pity those who have not yet learned to communicate with their higher planes of existence they see life in black and white, not color. Wow, look at this. Look, are you serious? Let's read this again. And I'm going to read it slower. Take a mental picture. Pity those who have not... Oh my God, seriously, with the mirror. Pity those who have not yet learned to communicate with the higher planes of existence. They see life in black and white, not in color. Wow, wow communicate with the higher planes the higher planes higher planes you are so being guided life is not just black and white look beyond the illusion libra life is calling are you listening namaste